just sitting out here in the blind waiting for some deer to walk by and uh, and it has started snowing. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Outdoor Pursuer. Um, this is day two of firearm season here in northern Indiana. Um, I didn't record anything yesterday because I took my girlfriend out with me and I, um, I just didn't want to take away from her experience. That was her first time um, hunting, so, um, you know, I just I left the cameras off and didn't want to do any recording for that. Uh, so we are on day two, November 14th, 2021, firearm season here in northern Indiana. Um, you know, uh, it's eight o'clock, and uh, so yesterday we, um, around three o'clock, 3.30, we had a pretty sizable um, deer run through. Um, out here and directly in front of me this way. Um, I probably ran, well it ran across and so unfortunately it didn't stop but it was probably about 30, 35 yards out. Um, if it stopped that would have been the end of the season <laughs> but it, uh, it just kept going right through so um, I'm kind of hoping that maybe that, that I actually didn't ca catch if it was a buck or if it was a doe but I do know it's a pretty sizable deer, so I'm hoping that it'll come back through again today, but we'll see. So stay tuned and uh, enjoy. All right, guys, just to give you a little bit of an update, um, I took a small break in between. Um, the snow really started to pick up, and uh, it was getting just a little too cold. Um, so I took a small break, and I'm uh, back out in the blind. It's not snowing. It's warmed up just a little bit more. Um, it's about 2.30 p.m. Um, it's still November 14th. didn't really see anything this morning. Um, we had a brief squirrel that was just running around the entire time. Uh, must be a little nuts because he was just running around in that snowstorm. Beats me, but I don't know. I'm just going to sit out here until dark and I hope I see something. Hopefully that that de or, uh, the deer that I talked about earlier does come back around. We'll see. 
buildings. Um, if something interesting happens or it's like stress zone again, I'll uh, catch you guys back up. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, I'm uh, I'm back in the truck now. Um, so since it's as you can clearly see behind me, it's dark out. Um, so uh, sat out there until dark and I didn't see anything. So we're we're packing up and um, so the next time that I can be back out is going to be a week from today, unfortunately. So um, next part that you see, whether it's broken up, uh, whether I, I leave this as one whole video and upload it that way, or if I break it up into parts um, and do separate videos for each day, um, I'm not really entirely sure. But either way, the next portion that you'll see will be next Sunday. Um, so, what, today's 14th, it'll make it the 21st, it'll be November 21st, 2021, so, um, stay tuned, and hopefully it will be a, a better day, um, unfortunately this, this week, our weekend in northern Indiana was horrible <laughs> to start out with, um, for firearms, so, um, and the other portion too, a lot of the surrounding fields where I'm at, they still have a lot of um, they have they still have a lot of crop on. Um, so I'm there's not much that I can do about that, but um, it, it gives the it gives the deer um, a lot more places to hide, a lot more places to go bunker down, and so um, it is what it is. And I will just make the most of it. So I hope you guys stay with me in this um, this year, this season. Um, you know, I know, I know there's deer running around here because we saw two yesterday. Um, and the one that we saw when we were in the blind is a good sized deer. So, um, yeah, we'll just, uh, you know, the only way to, to get a deer is to be out there. So, um, I'll just be out as much as I possibly can. And the next time it's going to be next Sunday. So stay tuned. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. All right, guys. Um, when I last left you off, um, I had intentions of going out Sunday, um, November 21st. However, um, some plans changed for me and have allowed me be, to be able to go out um, Saturday instead of Sunday. So here we are, Saturday, um, Saturday, November 22nd. Sorry, Saturday, November 20th, 2021, um, about 1 p.m. I think the temperature outside is around 40, 42 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I had intentions of sitting in a tree stand today rather than the blind, um, but on my way over here, it started to rain and, and hail, um, and it's still kind of sprinkling. Um, it's not coming down real heavy, so... Um, I think I'm just going to resort and sit in the blind today, unfortunately. Um, I think the weather for tomorrow is supposed to rain as well, but, um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So, um, I guess enough rambling and let's go ahead and get out. Um, let's go ahead and get out in the woods. It's the only way to get a deer. So, here we go.
this and if anything else would come around, but nothing. And I really wish I would have gotten out on camera for you guys. I tried. But, um, if she was gone, I got a sight out of view before I could even get the camera turned over there. I mean, I had, I was more concerned about making sure I had a good opportunity to just take a shot, and I did. But then, when I realized it was a doe, then I wasn't, I just passed up on it. Um, so I was trying to get out on camera for you, but I missed it. Anyways, um, sitting here about 15 minutes later now, and I think I hear some big machinery going on um, at the front of the property. So I think I think the farmers are around, and they're now starting to take off the uh, the crops around here. So I'm kind of expecting a decent amount of activity here shortly. Um, so we'll just uh, we'll just wait and see what happens, basically. guys as soon as something interesting happens so stay tuned if you're still watching and you're still staying with me if you enjoy these types of videos you know leave a comment down below um let me know what i can do to improve these um you know it's it's not necessarily um, for you guys but um you know I, if i'm gonna post these to youtube and have you guys watch the experience i want them to make i want to them to be interesting for you, so, um, you know, just leave comments down below and let me know what to do. Thanks. Thanks for watching.
Um, so, I've taken a shot at a doe. I think it was that same doe that walked by earlier. So, that was, if the GoPro got it, you'll know. But essentially what happened with that, I went ahead and tried to take a shot and the round that I had, I tried twice, it didn't fire, so I had to unload that round, load another, and then they are slightly different, but that one fired. Um, it's kind of an odd angle, but I think my shot was still pretty true. They might have been a little forward, but either way, I'm going to wait. She was probably about 35, 30 yards out. Not terribly far. Looking at it now, I see a tree. I see a tree further behind that. I think she was in. I think we're good. I think that was a true shot, so we are going to wait. She took off that way and kind of cut back maybe this way a little bit. So. Pray that was a good shot. I'll take it. I'll take it. She wasn't bad. When I first saw her, I thought she was a little smaller, but I don't think she's bad. Of course, it's not as light out right now as it was before, but. Um, so, I think I'm going to pack my gear up. And I'm going to go back up there um, and just wait for a little while. So, we'll see. This one's usually pretty good, but we'll see. So... I think the GoPro got this. You probably couldn't see me very well, but she was running. She didn't sound like she was running very hard. I don't know. We'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate it. Catch you in a minute. I'm probably going to wait it, you know, a half hour. At least. And uh, you know, I can go and try and search for her. The thing is, is the direction she ran, there's a field that way. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, I don't even know if the corn's off the field. If she's, she made it to that field and is hiding somewhere, and they wouldn't, I don't think we'll ever find her. I don't know. I've never tracked a deer through a cornfield before. I would imagine it would kind of be the same as if you were going through the woods. You just look for the blood trail and follow the blood trail, but interesting. All right. Well, I really hope that's it, because if not, I probably just scared every deer off of this property for quite some time. What is it with me and does? I have an issue. The buck that I got two years ago just dropped pretty much on the spot. I don't know. Before I delve too far into um, what happened after I left the blind and all of that, um, I just wanted to briefly mention maybe 
an hour or so before nightfall and before I took the shot on the doe. Um, I was just kind of sitting there enjoying nature and um, the squirrel was just running around um, from tree to tree. Occasionally it kind of tricked me thinking it was a deer walking by. That's just, if if you went if you hunt it, it, you can probably vouch for this too um, if you ever go hunting and experience it um, too for your first time don't be shocked um, but squirrels are pretty freaking loud um, and so they almost always they always almost always get me thinking that it's a deer anyways I'm back to where I was going with this um, I was just watching this particular squirrel and um, at one point I saw him go up a tree and I watched him go up the tree, looked away, didn't think much of, of anything of it. Um, next thing I know, I just hear this extremely loud crash come out of nowhere. And I look over and I see the squirrel. I saw the squirrel on the ground. I didn't actually see him fall, but I saw him, the squirrel on the ground and it just like bolted right back up the same tree that I saw go up before. Um, so I'm assuming... <laughs> This squirrel just fell out of the tree, and I just, I, I, it was extremely hard for me to contain my laughter and stay quiet, but that was probably the funniest thing that I ever witnessed um, while I've been hunting, and I've been hunting um, since I was about 14. Um, when I was younger, it wasn't super consistent, but, um, you know, the last four or five years, I've, I've really put time and dedication into it um so anyways I, I just thought that was funny and i wanted i wanted to recall it for myself but also share it with you guys so um what you're actually probably here for then at towards the end of the video is um what we ended up doing with the deer so um following the gunshot you know i waited a half hour i went up and i i hunt on my grandma's property she was home so i went up and, and visited my grandma for a little while um while i waited for the deer to um settle and um and then i was gonna go check on it well um the same night my uncle also shot a deer a buck um and it was kind of the same scenario with me he he thought it was a good true shot um and and the deer ran for a little while and the same situation with me my deer ran um neither of us heard it crash or saw it go down but we knew the general direction that it ran in um so my my parents and my uncle um live pretty much on the same property they're one and the same um so my dad went and helped my uncle find his buck um that didn't take him super long and then they came out and tried to help me find my doe um well by the time they got out there and they brought the um um it's escaping me it's not a razor um basically a four by four by the time they brought that over um you know, we're going on about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes since I shot the the doe. Um, and about 45 minutes of that, I was out there looking for it by myself. Um, it's pitch black out. Um, I'm walking around with a couple of flashlights, so I have decent lighting. But um, either way, it's still it's a lot more difficult looking in the dark versus full broad daylight. Um, so... Um, my my dad and my uncle came over and they probably spent an hour and a half or so to also trying to help me look for this doe and uh we couldn't find it we couldn't find a blood trail we couldn't find tracks um etc so um you know we just it was it was gonna get cold enough that night it was gonna be fine um just as long as coyotes um or some other predator didn't get to it um so uh, fortunately, it didn't. Um, you know, we went back out that morning. Actually, my dad and my yeah, my dad and my uncle both um, beat me out there. And um, oddly enough, as soon as my dad got there, he walked straight out in the woods and walked straight to the doe. Um, so it didn't take them super long to find it that morning. Um, but we got over there, we recovered it, and uh, um, 
yeah, it was, it was good. I was glad, I'm super glad that we were able to find it. Um, so, you know, I got my dough, my uncle got my buck between the two of us. Um, we estimate we probably have about 120 to 130 pounds of, of deer meat to use. Um, so not bad. Um, pretty good. Again, um, it wasn't the particular deer that I was going for this year. I was hoping for a buck. Um, but uh, I just, you know, <clears throat> um, as, as a hunter, then I'm sure a lot of you also know this too. Of course, I still have a buck tag. I can go back out and do it. But um, just the way that I am personally, I don't. I don't just want to go out in and uh, fill a tag just because I have it. You know, I I want to be able to um, eat eat the meat and and not have it go to waste. And for for just me myself, um, the buck, if I were to go back out and get another deer it would be too much meat for me to use that in that one year. Of course, I can always, you know, um, hand it out and to people that that also enjoy venison. But um, I just with where my situation is, being in school and all this other stuff, um, I, just, I just think it's probably um, good for me to call that a season. It was, it was good. I got a deer. I, um, you can't complain against that. So, yeah. Um, we're pretty much at the end of the video. I just wanted, you know, I didn't want to cut that off and, and not have you guys updated that we found the deer. Um, we did. Uh, the, the shot wasn't as true as I thought. And, and I actually mentioned earlier, um, that night that I thought I had actually shot more forward. And in reality, I actually shot a little further back. Um, so not the cleanest shot but also at least you know I hit the deer um, I don't think she suffered too far or too much um, but I guess while I'm thinking about it here um, so I mentioned that she ran one direction and then she ended up turning and going the other direction um, and um, I've hunted there before, but I don't know if I've had it in any of my recordings so far, but there's a creek bed that longs, that runs along the direction that she ended up running. Um, and behind that creek bed is some fields. Um, we have a tree stand along that, um, you know, from where the blind is, um, it might be about a hundred yards. If you just kept walking straight into the woods, you would, you would eventually get to the creek bed and, and the, uh, and the tree stand well um i guess she maybe hit the creek bed and then decided to run along it and she actually ended up on the far side of the woods away from the blind uh which is kind of crazy to me because i spent the you know i spent two and a half to three hours looking um it I haven't talked much about directions, but basically looking south of the blind, um, because that's the direction she ran, she ended up being way north of the blind. Um, so, <laughs> um, just kind of goes to show that, I don't know, that, that night I was, I was pretty, I was pretty bummed and I, I didn't think we were ever going to find her. And, um, just getting that call from my dad and he's like, um, where are you? Well, you're about to be a really happy man. And so that was, that was kind of nice that I, I can't thank both my dad and my uncle enough for helping me trying to find that. Um, especially because Sunday morning, like, like I mentioned then it was, it was a rainy day. Um, so it was raining when they were actually out there. Um, it was about another 40 degree day, but rain and cold weather don't mix no matter no matter what temperature it is so um just a huge thanks to them i can't say it enough but also a huge thank to you, a huge thanks to you guys um you know over over the last month um i've noticed a just a little bump in in the amount of subscri subscribers and um and views that um, some of my videos have been getting, and so 
I want to thank each and every one of you that has subscribed so far, um, left comments or liked videos. Um, I really I greatly appreciate it, and um, I can't thank you guys enough either. Um, so I, I hope you guys can continue to like these types of videos. Um, you know, if you have any comments or suggestions on what you want to see next, what I should do, um, ways that I can improve my videos, both editing and recording, um, just, you know, leave those down below. Um, if you liked this video in particular, like it. Um, and um, stay tuned because I, I love hunting and it's not about to end. So <laughs> I hope I can continue to record those, share them with you guys. Um, I've already talked enough with this. So um, thank you for watching and see you outdoors.